Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. We're going to shift our focus today a little bit and take it off of Title, and we're going to talk about Marketing 101. It's a new year. We're in the month of January here, 2018, and I want to make sure that you understand how are you going to generate massive business for 2018. If you remember, we produced a video several months ago where we talked about 2017's over. You need to start planning for 2018. But this past week, we had many networking events. We had the Broward Real Estate Investors Association. We had the Boca Real Estate Investors Association. Uh, we had the Distress Real Estate Investors Association, the Tropical RIA. And between all of these clubs, you wouldn't believe how many people, when you walk in the door and you ask for a business card, their response is, I don't have one. I haven't gotten them printed. Guys, the business card is your number one step to build your business. I always made sure, no matter what business I was in, that I had a business card, even if it was my own personal business card, just with my contact information, so you have a way to contact someone. And there are many services out there that give you electronic business cards and stuff, but I'm here to tell you that a paper business card is one of the most powerful marketing tools you can ever use if you're going to be attending a networking event. Could you imagine as one of the top title companies here in South Florida, we're at one of these networking events and someone comes over, oh, do you have a business card? No, you know, I don't. Now, if you run out, that's one thing, but you should always keep a stack of business cards. You should make them colorful. You should make them stand out. And here's a little tip, you should use both sides. It's so inexpensive to make sure you're printing on both sides of your business card. So this way you can put some important information on the back that you would like people to know. And you can get creative, there's many different ways and colors and shapes and sizes of, of business cards. But I'm here to tell you a business card you can get very inexpensive at your local Office Depot. If you come to these clubs, a lot of them have discounts for printing at, at Office Depot or we use Minuteman Press over in Pompano Beach here to handle our business cards. But every one of my staff members has a business card. The owners have business cards. Every person we network with, you need to have a business card. So this way when someone wants to reach out to you, they know how to get a hold of you. So what type of, type of paper do you do is the last one that I wanted to tell you on this episode. You want to make sure, and here's a little tip, that you're not getting the glossy paper. You want to make sure you can get a paper that you can write on. It's usually the matte type paper. So this way, if you need to write your phone number on it, you need to write a little note on it, you need to, to add something on it, you have the ability to do so. When we go to these events and they do the, the fishbowl drawing where, where they give away uh, maybe a book or a CD or, or a t-shirt. I can't believe the amount of people that use a notepad and they just write their name and phone number on a notepad, they crumble it up and put it in the bowl. And then when the person pulls that out, uh, the person that's running the meeting pulls that out, they laugh and chuckle for a minute and then they call the person out for not having a business card. It's networking 101, you must have a business card. So did you like what you heard today on, on this episode of Title Tuesdays? I hope so. Leave me a comment below on something maybe you'd like to hear on another episode of Title Tuesdays because I'm always here to come up with great topics to hopefully educate you and as in today's episode, take your business to the next level. If you don't have a business card, shame on you. Go out and get one. You can get them very inexpensive. There used to be even companies that print them for free but you need something at the, your next networking event. So I look forward to seeing you at some of the networking events around. I'll take a look at your card, give you some ideas on how I think it could be better, or maybe you have an excellent card. I've seen ones that look like a $100 bill. It gets people's attention. That's all you're looking to do is get the attention. They may throw it out when they get home, but you wanna grab their attention on the spot. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, give me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, maybe share our video on social media. That's another good way to get more subscribers to our channel and make sure they're watching it to take their business to the next level. So thanks for watching Title Tuesdays. I look forward to seeing you on next week's episode and I'll see you at the closing table.